I'm going to give you four things you can add to your game right now to start scoring more points. And the majority of this you can literally start doing today and you'll see results. There are certain things that the best players do that allows them to be successful. Obviously, when you watch guys like LeBron or Steph Curry or Kevin Durant, you see these insane skills and athleticism that allows them to dominate. But there's little things that very few people notice that these guys do that allows them to be successful. And the great thing is you can do a lot of these same things and start to see amazing results yourself. So if you're ready to score more points, make more plays and elevate your game to another level, let's get into it. The first thing that's going to help you play way better off the bat, and this is probably something that not only you've never heard anybody say, but I guarantee you probably heard coaches tell you the exact opposite of this. And this first key is that you need to start using extra dribbles. You've probably heard coaches tell you to use one dribble to get to the basket or just to use the least amount of dribbles in general. And while that might be true in layup lines before the game or if you're in transition by yourself, when there's actual defense on the court, it's very rare that the most effective way to get to the basket is by using the least amount of dribbles. Right here we can see the consequence of not using enough dribbles on the way to the basket as this player gets very clearly bumped which ends up affecting the finish enough that they miss it. Using extra dribbles allows you to be more powerful because you're not covering as much distance off just one or two steps. Basketball is a physical game and you need to be prepared to handle physicality. So if you want to get better and start finishing at a higher percentage around the rim, make sure you start adding in a couple extra dribbles when needed so that you're more powerful and more on balance. And this ties right into the next thing, which is one of the most important areas for players to master, and that's two foot finishing. If you don't have two foot finishing in your arsenal, you're never going to be a great finisher and you're really going to struggle to play through physicality and finish through contact. And this is for a couple different reasons. First of all, two foot finishing allows you to be powerful, be on balance, be under control when you go up into your shot especially around the rim when the majority of the time there's going to be defense, there's going to be contact. Being able to be powerful and under control is one of the most important qualities to have if you want to finish consistently. And this is something that will especially benefit you if you're at the high school or college level because there's no defensive three seconds, so the lane is always more congested. You have to be able to finish off of two feet because there's almost always going to be a contest in the paint waiting for you. The other reason why finishing off of two feet is such an important skill to have is because it allows you to have options, meaning you're able to use a shot fake in order to get that defender to fly by you and get out of your way before you shoot the ball. It also allows you to pivot and overall take your time with your finishes. When players think about finishing, they usually think about the flashy highlights that they see, but the reality is the majority the majority of finishes that are going to be helpful for you are going to come off of two feet, again, especially at that high school and college level. So this is something that you need to make sure you look to get to as often as possible. And just adding this to your game is going to allow you to be so much more effective. And if you struggle with physicality at all, this is going to completely change things for you. Now there's different types of two foot finishes, but the one that I think is the most important for players to have is called the stride stop. And that just means you're stepping with your outside foot and then your inside foot as you go up into two. This will allow you to take momentum into your defender, allowing you to better handle contact and overall be able to draw more fouls and finish more and ones. Now this third tip is something that I think is an absolute game changer for you when you drive and that's having an active off arm. You're in a constant battle with your primary defender every time you drive and that battle is the physicality battle. When you drive, typically that defender is going to try to put an arm on you or put a hand on you to be able to slow you down or interfere with you. And if you allow that to happen, then you're going to lose the physicality battle and it's going to be very difficult for you to get to where you want to go. But on the flip side, if you use your off arm to make sure that they can't create that contact with you and they can't slow you down and arm bar you, then you're going to win the physicality battle and you're going to find it way easier to get past them and get all the way to the basket. And this is a habit that you can start to build when you play. What you'll see from a lot of the best guys with this, like Steph Curry and Trey Young, is that every time they drive, they're pretty much swiping, even if no one's reaching for them, because it's just become a habit. So by you getting in the habit of swiping and swimming and making sure that nobody's in your space, it's going to be a lot harder for defenders to create contact with you and slow you down.
And the last area that we'll talk about that you can add to your game that's going to instantly make you better is just changing speeds. Basketball is a game of patterns and defenders rely on picking up on patterns to be able to effectively guard you. One of the patterns they pick up on is how fast you're going. So if you're able to change up when you're going slow, when you're going fast, when you're stopped, when you're going 100%, it's going to be much more difficult for defenders to anticipate what you're going to do and it's going to allow you to exploit them and win that matchup much more often. One of the best and simplest ways to do this is by going from relaxed to explosive. So relaxed meaning you're at about 20% effort with the ball, you're standing up really tall, that defender is subconsciously going to mirror you and they're going to relax as well. And then being able to flip that switch to get to an explosive 100% speed, that defender is always going to be a half second behind you and it's going to make you much more difficult to guard when you're able to do this effectively. And in this clip, we can see all four of these keys coming together that leads to an and one to ice the game. Jalen Brunson changes speeds here, going from relaxed to explosive to get by his defender. He uses that off arm as well to make sure he's not getting jammed up. He takes extra dribbles so that he's on balance and under control, gets himself to two feet so he can get to a shot fake, and then he gets up for the and one. Like I said, this is stuff that you can pretty much add to your game right now and start to see results with it. But if you want something that's gonna help you with this and help you elevate the rest of your game, click the top link in my description below to get my free Elite Perimeter Scorer program. It'll help take your game to the next level completely free. I appreciate you for watching. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.